I mean, last year I had one of the biggest songs in the country. Sure. Yes. It's nominated for Song of the Year on, on Metro FM. Yeah. It's called Horns in the Sun. And yes. I was a part of that song. I don't look at gospel artists and other artists. No. Okay. For me, is we should be at least at a quality level. Yes. At an impact level. That's right. We should be at the same yes. level. And I think a lot of times we like to have, a, we have an idea of how God's blessing is going to manifest itself on our lives. Okay. And so we don't actually see the serving part as a blessing. Sure. Being in the secular world, for eight years of my career, it's so easy for people to be like, ah, oh, we can't bring the world into the church. They like saying stuff like that, right? Yes. But it's like, maybe we can take the church into the world. Into the world. Well, hi, family. My name is Omega Kuno, and welcome again to Omega Pod. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be one of the favorite episodes, even for myself. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm excited. Today, I've got a friend and a brother. I will tell you more why I'm seeing a brother. We've got a we've got history. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. His name is Brendan Praise Ledwaba. Yeah. My friend, welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank you. It's uh, like I said, I've been, hey, I've been binging. Hey, yeah. this podcast is like Netflix. Yeah. Once you start, you yeah. can't stop. But yeah. yeah. I love it so much. Yeah. And how are you doing, man? I'm doing okay. Yeah. I'm doing okay. God is good. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, not perfect, but yeah. uh, progressing. Great. Yeah. And family. Family is good. Yes. And I think that's why God is good, you know. Yes. For as long as we have good health. Yeah. For as long as uh, we have a shelter. Yeah. For me, that's like the true blessings. Wow. Well, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Because you're right. Because at times we we just overlook small things, you know, just to wake up in the morning, just to see your yeah. children going to school. It's wife. so easy because yeah. you get caught up, you know. And yeah. once you start, once God starts blessing you, you that's get right. so caught up in all of that mm. that you forget the little things. So sure. I think it's always great to reflect. Yes. Yeah. And say so we are here. Just being here, it's a blessing. Big blessing. By its own. Yeah. Weekend, how was Easter weekend when we found that that weekend is hectic for everyone. <laughs> it was. No, it yes. was. So I was uh I went to church. I managed to squeeze church in. Yeah. Not squeeze it in actually. <laughs> That's the main thing. Yeah. On yes. Friday I, I was able to go to church, but Saturday, Sunday I was I was gigging. I was in Rustenburg and then uh yes. Clerkstorp. Sure. Yeah. That was so, quite a weekend. It was it was very fun. It was nice. Yeah. Um, I always enjoy, you oh. know, for us, our work, it's yeah. it doesn't feel like work. Yes. Because it's yes. like you know, it's it's an environment you want to be in. So I always yes. enjoy on special days yeah. to be working. To be, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yo, yo, yo. The reason why I'm saying this man is a brother to me. I don't know, would you remember that uh, there was another time we came, we visited your church. Yes, I remember yeah. very well. <laughs> <laughs> with my with my wife and and Khoso Makhaliba. Those were the days of Khoso like, Makhaliba. Oh, good old days. Yeah. And that was, was a, a yeah. beautiful time, I yeah. remember. And, our, and, and actually, I was not coming. And then Khoso said, hey, man, my That's kai, right. Yeah, my yeah. guy's giving me a problem. Uh, oh, please, man, uh, please join me with your wife. Let's go together and use your car. I said, why not? You know, we're free. And then um, Khoto said, let's go. Then we we <laughs> we got into uh, uh, N4 to yeah. Pumalang. Yes. And then only to find out that we're going to meet family. Yeah. And your dad, your mom, your siblings, yourself. You were playing keys that time. <laughs> I, was, I was. still. I was still in the band. Yeah. No, but you know, you know what's crazy about that time is I remember how you guys were so genuine and sure. And to this day, I think that's why my dad is such a wow, huge man. fan because yeah. of the way. At the time, I mean, you guys were, everyone was looking at you guys, especially in the church. Right. You guys are the celebrities. Yeah. <laughs> so to come with so much humility sure. and then for him to also bring you wow. as an added bonus. Yeah. You it know. was just like, I, I remember we were just, hey. we were in awe. It was, hey. a beautiful, yo, it was a beautiful service. I forgot what it was, but it was some sort of conference. conference it was a special yes. conference. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Because we were there Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. And it was difficult for us to leave because yeah. we left Monday very late because you yeah. guys, you didn't just want us to leave. And the love from your family. Yo, Apostle Lidwal, we appreciate you. And I, will, I hope you will see this episode. You are a fan. You're going to see it. <laughs> no, we, if he doesn't watch, I'm going to send it to him. Yeah, <laughs> your dad, we appreciate you so much. Your yeah. prayers together with mom, the love, the support for what you are doing. We just want to say thank you. A singer, a pianist, composer, mm -hmm. and a producer. Tell me about that. Yeah, you know, um, actually, speaking of my dad, my yeah. dad, uh, when I was young, yeah. he he bought a keyboard. Okay. 
and I think he's, he taught himself to play and right. then he taught us. So from like age six, seven, I was fiddling around with the piano. Yeah. Uh, when I got to high school, I started sort of producing, but at the time I didn't have the softwares and the equipment. Right. So these, you know, keyboards, they can record on them on their own. Yes, yes, yes. 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 I remember. So, so what I would do is I would record all the music on Amen. the keyboard. I think it would have like five channels. Sure. And I'd do the drums, I'd do the bass, piano, and then I would sing over and I'd do voice notes. If and, I did. and that was my my single. <laughs> if I did. And then I'd go to school and I would I would uh, send it to all my friends and right. they'd listen to it. And obviously because they don't know the difference between quality. Yes. They're like, yo, this is amazing. And so I think that grew my confidence. So I sort of I've always really enjoyed um the production side mm -hmm. of music, mm -hmm. like the behind the scenes yeah, creation. Right, right, right. For me, that process is I feel like that's when God speaks to me the most. Yeah. You know, because, and I think you would attest to this, when yes. you're writing music, um, the the performing it or recording it is really the manifesting of it. That's right. But True. God is actually, God has actually instilled it to you yes. through so many experiences. Experiences, yes. And, and so for me, yeah, I've just, I've really enjoyed that journey. So mm. yeah, I think production, uh, composing, it's it's been been one of those things that the more i've grown now i've really relied on it more heavily mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and your 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 ministry your ministry or your songwriting producing it it really catches uh up with a lot of young people yeah uh, what was it that the idea or <laughs> because your sound yeah uh, you know i've been listening to your projects uh, yeah especially the latest yeah you, know, yeah, you yeah. can hear that no there's there's an element of yeah you know i think yeah, I think, you know, I'm, I try to be authentic. Right. So for me, I believe, you know, God puts you where you need to be. That's right. And for yeah. a long part of my career, I was, um, I was in the secular industry. Mm -hmm. Even now, I still have a lot of, um, like I have a market there. Okay. You know, like I, I have, we call it market share. Okay. You know, but being in the, that world with um, guys that are doing music at a high level, mm -hmm. secular music, house music, you sort of start to learn mm. a lot of the way that they make the music, mm. a lot of the fundamental techniques mm -hmm. that they use. And so, yeah, so I think I was fortunate enough to work with the likes of Black Motion. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I remember one of the first recordings I did was I did backing vocals for Casper album. Okay. Literally probably seven years ago. And really? I wasn't even credited for that because I was just in the room. Okay. So... I was always exposed to all of these guys at yes. their heights. So for me, I was very intrigued at, you know, I don't look at gospel artists and other artists. No. Okay. For me, is we should be at least at a quality level. Yes. At an impact level. That's right. We should be at the same yes. level. Yes. You know? Yes. The same way you look at like a Kirk Franklin, mm -hmm. you look at a Chris Brown, and you don't necessarily think one is better than the other. Yes. You know? Yes. So for yes. me, I always looked at it like locally. I don't really want to box myself and say um i'm going to keep my sound to suit more this correct i want a sound that's universal that, is that young people can enjoy that yes. my mother can enjoy yes. that my friends can enjoy something that everyone can play and it's it's a it's appealing yes. but you know still not withdrawing from um, yes. the essential content of it right the spiritual right. part yes so it's a tough thing to achieve but uh, I think God has really helped me, especially with this last project, because this yeah. last project really took a lot of time. Yes. And it's just five. I mean, there's other songs. I didn't put out the whole album because yes, I was yes, like, yes. I don't know if people are going to give it the attention. So let me not waste songs. Yes, yes. So yes. I just put out five and I was like, you know, let's see how this does. Yeah. And we'll put out the rest of the album. Yeah. So, yeah, that was that was the thinking. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's this song. I, wonder, I don't know if, no, 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 but uh, you will tell me if it's on this project or what. Sifila 1. Yes, it is on this project. Yeah, yeah. Sifila 251. Ah, yeah, 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 <laughs> Jerusalem. Yeah. yeah. Hey, bro, I, 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 that, that, oh, it's because maybe I love hymns. Yes. That is why I'm really connected I to I also you. love hymns. Yeah. I love hymns. And so for me, I love hymns, but I also love modern music. Okay. So I tried to blend the two things. That's what you did on this hymn. Yeah. yeah and you know, actually, you know how it came about? Yeah, yeah. I was in the house. So, okay. And so I have my, the lady who helps out, helps us at the house. Yeah. So I have her on my WhatsApp. Okay. So she's very much involved in 
uh, that world. Like she goes to churches where they sing a cappella. Oh, you know, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. I'm yes, not quite yes, sure yes. what the name of the denominations are. But yes, yes, yes. You know the churches where they really sing. Yes. So she's always posting these TikToks. Okay, all right. Of all these right. songs. Yeah. So she posted this one, yeah, Sifila 251. Yeah. And it was kind of the same vibe, but not quite. And they were singing it, but it was being sung at a church. Okay. And for me, the way it touched me, hey, I remember right. sending it, I sent it to my dad. I said, dad, I love this song, but I can't find a recorded version. Okay. Because okay. they're singing it. Okay, okay, okay. right. So, yes. so I was like, no, man, I have to figure this thing out. And yeah. also I understand that my generation might actually not understand how important Mm, um, mm. this music is mm. and sung in this mm, way mm, mm, because mm, there mm. is a heritage to it right right you know correct and and you know my 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 dad's father was nearly like a bishop okay okay so he he was like he was big yes. in the zion world in the, okay right and so music and everything it con it kind of went through our heritage yes and so yeah i felt like you know i want to pay homage to my 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 dad yes my uncle right. who was also a singer okay my uncle was also a singer wow. and, and so and, and my and my grandfather and i want to do something that i think he would have liked yes. if he was alive today some sort of a tribute it's a that. tribute yes, yes exactly yes. and that's why i put it at the end because it doesn't really match up with the rest of the songs oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the rest of hey, the songs uh, but but it was so special to me yeah and so yeah and also to make a song that i felt like if the lady that works with us, mm -hmm. who's from a completely different world, yes, if she can find something in my project, right? If I can reach, especially because TikTok is a big market. Yes, for me. yes, yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, it's a big platform, and for a long time, I was actually just a TikTok artist. <laughs> I considered myself <laughs> and, and a TikTok it <laughs> because that's where God's people were at the time. So yeah, so it was that just trying to reach as many people as as possible. Yes, yes. And for so many, you know, talk, actually speaking about your background, mm. your, your 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 grandfather, uncle, even including your father. Uh, there's one thing that I want the young people to know today because they look up to you. Mm. Brandon Praise uh, grew up as a worship leader in the church. Hundred percent. Yeah, you 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 grew up serving. You mm. know, even when you go back home now, you mm. still serve. Hundred percent. Talk about that because it's important. I mentioned this almost in every episode that I do because I, I, I believe that we need to emphasize that, that we don't just come up tomorrow then we are what we are. You know? Yeah. There's, yes. It's, yeah. it's important. You know, it's, it's submission. Sure. It's wow. un understanding, being a part of something that's bigger than yourself. Repeat that again. Wow. You have to because God's gospel is Yay. so much bigger than us. Yay. And so, yes. And so you have to go through it. Sure. You have to go through like you said, I was playing keyboard. Yeah. For yeah. Omega and, oh, and so, Hot. Yeah. You know, you have to be in those moments. You have to allow God to use you where he sees mm. fit. Mm. And I think a lot of times we like to have, we have an idea of how God's blessing is going to manifest itself on our lives. Okay. And so we don't actually see the serving part as a blessing. Sure. But hey. what an honor to be, uh, also, it's amazing to be a part of something where you don't have to take the blame if it doesn't work. Hey, <laughs> hey, man. You know, so there's so many lessons sure. that we get in serving. Even to this day, I mean, uh, my one of my best friends, uh, Murder, who's a DJ, I for a lot of his projects, I'm his sound engineer. Sure. I record vocals with artists. Yeah. And for me, I don't look at it as this is beneath me. I look at it as if you, and I mean, I saw a quote the other day where it says, if you want to get somewhere, yeah, start by helping someone get where they want to wow. go. Because in doing wow. so, you're learning the tools. Cool. Wow. There's wow. so many wow. tools that you need once God can trust you with whatever he has in store for sure. you. He needs you to have the tools to maintain and to sustain, to sustain his blessing. Sure. And you can only get that through serving. Because sure. when you're serving, you're learning. Yes. When you're serving, you don't hold the vision. You're submitting to a vision. Yeah. And that is exactly what God is going to need you to do when he's entrusting you with your own vision. Yes. Because it's not your vision. Hey. It's his vision. Come on, man. But now if you don't have that serving platform, sure. once the vision 
is at a place where it's big, it's Omega Pod. Right. You lose sight of who gave you the vision. Hey. So now you start working by your own understanding. You start working by the, you're looking at the analytics. So sure. you, you're going on YouTube, you're like, ah, this week sure. we killed. We need to do more of this. Yeah. Whereas God is saying, no, don't do that. Yeah. And so Yo. It's, mm. it's, it's tough. You have to make those decisions. It's for me, like even last year, I mean, last year I had one of the biggest songs in the country. Sure. Yes. It's nominated for Song of the Year on, on Metro FM. Yo. It's called Horns in the Sun. And yes. I was a part of that song. And literally a month later, I dropped um, a gospel single. Yeah. When everyone was like, ah, you're dominating. Yeah. yeah Run with it. Yeah. This is the sound. This is your sound. This yeah. is your sound. People are gravitating. And it was like, yes, this is what that is. But this was just a door for me to be able to do this. Yo. And it's like decisions like that you cannot make if you are submitting to yourself. Hey, Brendan. Hey. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. It's deep. Like what we're doing is there's a spiritual layer to it that is so much deeper Mm. than the physical that people see. Sure. And it's so easy to see people achieving certain things or doing or having a certain influence, God trusting them with a certain influence and right. then thinking, no, man, these people, they must have gotten it this this some type of way. But there's right. a spiritual life, life that you have to submit to. Sure. Sure. There's an sure. understanding sure. that you have to have with sure. God. Sure. There's a sure. relationship that you have to build. You know, for me, being, like I said, being in the secular world, for eight years of my career, it's so easy for people to be like, ah, oh, we can't bring the world into the church. They like saying stuff like that, right? Yes. But it's like, maybe we can take the church into the world. Into the world. You know? To the world. But Go it requires, like therefore. you said, it yeah. requires a very strong foundation. Yep. Yeah. Because yeah. you cannot be consumed. Yes. Uh, you know? And yes. it's very easy to fall into that. Yes. Yes. So, yeah. it's it's. But again, like I said, being able to submit and... Be in spaces where you are, you are just the water boy. Yeah. Or you are, or actually, yes. they're just sending you to to take food for your brothers. Hey. Hey. You understand? Yeah. If you don't find yourself in a situation where God can send, he can trust you to send a sandwich for your brothers. Hey. Then you'll never get to a point where God trusts you to kill Goliath. Mm, mm. It's a journey. And you have to be a shepherd before you can be a king. <laughs> and it's like, there's no other way around it. So for me, I, I've just always understood that. And again, I've had, my dad is my greatest hero. Yep. And he's such an embodiment of that. Yes. You know, my yes. dad is very selfless. Yes. Um, but he doesn't lead with that. Sure. Which I find a lot of people who are selfless become self-righteous. Yes. yes. Where it's yes. like, you yes. know, I do everything for everyone. Okay. I do. Even they even use Christ. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I'm a child of God, and it's like, but why are you leading with it as though that qualifies you for something? Mm. You know what I mean? Yes. It's like we are all children of God. Sure. It's an honor and it's a privilege and it's a gift, right? That we've been given, but it also carries a responsibility, mm. which is love mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and 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 understanding and empathy, and being able to actually make a difference being able to actually lead something that God can be proud of. When you mm. get to heaven, God can say, I gave you this assignment. Yes. This was your assignment. You did not deter from the assignment that yeah. I gave you. You did not look at what other people were doing and follow what that was. You did what I told you. Because yeah. God still speaks to individuals. Right, right. Which right. we've, I think, you know, it's so... Sure. These days we don't see that. It's like, <sighs> if you come out with a song and you say, God said to me... Mm. It's like people are like, but like, where's the bibli biblical? Biblical, yes. yes where's yes, the theology? Yeah, 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 and yes. it's like, the theology is inspiring what God is saying yes. to me. Yes. You know? Yes. But God yes. still speaks a God's fresh word, you know? And, and he has, He and he will continue to. And I think it's just about being open mm. and saying, God, use me how you want to use me. That's right. If for this season, my job is to make music for TikTok, mm -hmm. I will submit to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will submit to that. Because that is the people that you've given me. That sure. is my audience. And I will not look at other people. I will celebrate other people. Yeah, right. But I will not feel like I necessarily have to be in those spaces. In the, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Wow, man. 
Hey, you see this is why I don't you do interviews. Bro, I, I talk too much. No, 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 no. We need such. I think this pod is about that, you know, whereby yeah. we find time and we just talk and you go deep in even on some stuff that we don't know. This is yeah, yeah. about Omega Pod. But thank you, man. Some award nominee for <laughs> Joy Joy. Yes. Yes. So that was my first nominee. Yes. Um, yeah, that was in 2018. Yes. Yo, yes. Hey, Mutu <laughs> is getting old. <laughs> but yeah, you know, that's actually one of, again, one of the most pivotal moments yep. for me. That's actually when I switched um, and understood that there was a place for God in the world. Okay. Okay. Because up until that moment, I was also under the, I always felt like, oh, if God's going to use me for his work, it's going to be in the church. Sure. That's where God's going to use me because yeah. that's where God is. Mm -hmm. But God is everywhere. Yeah. And so when sure. I wrote that song, <laughs> it was it was the first song that I wrote that was about love. Mm -hmm. It was about love. It was about the love in my life because right. I just gotten married a year yes, before. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, I just yes, gotten yes. married to my wife and then we had just given birth to our first child. Oh, man. So funny enough, her name, her second name is Litam. Letter, all right. So that's where the joy, joy comes okay, from. Okay, 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 okay. So, yeah, so we did that song and that song hey, blew hey. up. It blew up, but also it didn't blow up overnight. I remember we submitted it in 2018 as a single. Yes, yes, And yes. All, the, all the radio uh, platforms, they went into the album and they took another single. They said, no, this one, this one. We're yeah. not sure about this one. <laughs> so they, they had their own single that they played, they ran with, and it was amazing. And then in, in February, my friend Murder, at the time still right. part of Black, Black Motion, yeah. he was like, no, man. Hey, Pina is blind. Pina is dead. Yeah. And we went and we shot the most amazing big budget video. I'm hey. sure we spent about 300,000 on that video. Yes. Hey. At the time, videos were big. So yes. if you wanted to go big, you go big. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, well, it wasn't me. I didn't spend that money. <laughs> I didn't have that money. <laughs> so so we shot the video and then the video blew up the song. Yo, bro. The video blew up the song. All of a sudden, DJs are playing it all over the world. <sighs> I am getting calls. This is when I realized that sure. music is truly, it's global. It's and, global, right. And its impact can go so much further than you could ever imagine. Mm. I got booked to play um, on a on a boat. Okay. Uh, this event was on a boat, and the guy who booked me booked me to perform the one song, just Yo. Joy Joy, Yo. in Manhattan, in Yo. New York. Man. He, he flew me. <laughs> he paid me twice what I get paid here locally and flew me to New York to perform that one song. And I was like, and you know, the reason was he said the day he met his wife, yeah, because he's also a DJ, he was playing that song. Wow. He was playing that song. So, so I realized I was like, oh. no, man, this is insane. Yeah. This person is from a that, whole like, other yes, yes, culture. Yes. Cultural differences aside, that song was able to touch him. From that moment, I was more intentional about my music. Oh. I never ever put out a song that I didn't believe in the message of the lyrics. Sure. Because I knew that this song could reach, any song that I do could reach someone somewhere. Yes. And yes, I don't yes. want it to be misinterpreted. And yes. I don't want to sell the wrong message. Sure. So when I say that was life-changing, it was life-changing. Yes, the summer nomination was great. Yeah. It was... Uh, affirmation felt yeah. like oh no you're good at this mm, people mm, finally mm -hmm. see that you can do this mm. but really the more significant thing for me was the spiritual the message, message that i learned was sure. what i'm doing is important yes sir yes sir and it's it matters and i cannot take it for granted sure yeah man that's amazing that's <laughs> a beautiful song and and it will stay for for, for no it's generational and yeah. i do it everywhere i do it at weddings i even do it in churches yeah i do it everywhere <laughs> it's a beautiful <laughs> song and talk to me about the the season nine uh, idols right mm. hey idols that was the beginning yeah hey the experience of idols looking at from far bruh you can it's just tough. say that you guys yeah it's very tough yes it's i think you know again I think God God orders your steps. Right. So, right. yes, it was tough, but it wasn't hard. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know, it, yeah, was, I, yes. it was tough, but it wasn't hard because I, I felt like I was prepared. Okay, okay. I was prepared through my life. So like I said, I used to do this thing where I produce songs and yes, I do. Yeah. And literally a year before, um, Kaya was on mm -hmm. the season before mm -hmm, us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kaya, Kaya yeah. I've told him this, Kaya changed a lot of black people's perspective Yo. on opportunities such as those. Yes. Because before we didn't even think that was a viable. And for someone from a small town, there's not a lot of ways that yeah, you can sure. get or build a, an audience or a market. So, yes. So, so I was watching Kaya do it and I was like, nah, this guy's good, but I can also do that. <laughs> you can, <laughs> I can also, I can at least do exactly what he's doing. Yes, yes. You know? And so I started, um, I started doing covers. I decided literally, cause I was in metric. Right. The year that Kaya was, was on Idols. Okay. I was in metric. And so I decided, you know, I'm going to learn all of the pop songs sure. that are on the Billboard charts. Sure. All of them. Sure. Like from one until like the top 50 pop songs. Yeah. That are the most popular songs in the world right now. Sure. I'm going to do covers. And so I started doing covers. Yeah. That year I must have done maybe 60 or 70 covers. Yo. That I did every day after school. I'd get home. I'd put out my keyboard. I'd learn how to play the song and I'd do the cover. So you were, re you were right. So by the time I did my audition. Yeah. I knew, for me, it was like, you know, when something is revealing itself. Yes. Like, like it's almost like you dreamt yeah. of this, but now you're yeah. seeing it, it's yeah. happening in yes, real life. Yes, yes, It felt like that because I did my audition and I went through. Sure. And ah, from the moment I went through the audition, I knew that hmm. it's, this is interesting, it's gonna be harder to lose. Sure. It's gonna be harder for me to lose this thing than to win it. Sure. Yeah. That was my, that was my feeling. Uh, because I knew that, like, it felt like, no, man, I've lived this before. Mm. Which is why when I didn't win, that sent me into a deep Ay. depression for a while. Seriously, man. No, that wasn't, it wasn't nice. It's because you, it was you tough. saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Man. And it wasn't about, it's really, it really wasn't about losing. It was about really the dynamic of going from Ay, this unlimited faith. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. To no hope. Yay. You know? Yay. And Yay. so as it's going on and things started to unfold and I was just like, you know, there's again, but I later realized sure. and now, now I say, you know, when people join competitions, my hope is that people understand that you win money, you don't win a career. Aye. You know? And yes. had that been my mentality, Aye. I would have, I think... Looking back, I might have been able to leverage to what I had yeah. at the time. But also, I was 19, you know. And so, also, maybe maybe not, actually. But it was tough because coming from that, um, you know, you're singing for millions of people mm. every week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's when I first got socially bullied yes. for the first time in my life. Because you know? <laughs> yeah. I remember I went one Sunday from 5,000 followers to... No, I had 99,000 and I had 5,000 by the end of the first episode <laughs> on, I think, Twitter and on Instagram. Sure. By the next week, I think I was on 50,000. By the third <sighs> week, I had 100,000 followers. Brother. It was Just like everything was happening so fast. So fast, yeah. So you start to get into this world where, and also, I mean, what they do so well is the team is so good. Yeah. The management. Mm. And they start to manage you at the yes. time already. Yes. You're doing interviews, hey. moving around like a celebrity, yeah. you know, but you don't have the accolades yeah, of yeah, yeah, someone yeah. who should be yes, moving around. Yes, like yes, that. yes. So when all of that stops, you're on your own. Hey. And you now need to figure out. To figure out, yeah. Who's Brendan Prince? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, now yeah, I can't yeah. sing John Legend songs. I mean, I'll do gigs, what, what, but I'm doing covers. And if you're doing covers as an artist, as a as someone who aspires to be a solo artist, yeah, to do covers is the hardest thing. To do gigs where people are booking you to sing other people's songs, <laughs> and you want to do your own songs, yeah. you want to have your own impact. So yeah, I think it took no, me no, four no, or five no. years to really deal with that. Like to to in fact, I only really understood that I was dealing with it mm -hmm. when I started doing therapy. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that it was lingering in my life. Because what happened is I went from someone who was 
who had unlimited faith right to someone who would i would protect myself from failure sure so everything i would do i would do it to an extent where i feel like as long as i'm here yes i'm safe yes. Yes, yes. If I'm here, get it. There, there's nothing bad that can happen. Sure. So I would never push my expectation to mm -hmm. say God can do what He's never yes. done. Yes, I'd always be like, no. Even if God doesn't do it, at least I've got this. I'd keep myself in that world where I won't, I won't be disappointed. Yeah, I won't get hurt. Hey, you know. And I only realized it maybe three, three years ago, when I started doing therapy. Sure. I realized that I've stopped dreaming for myself. Sure. I'm so comfortable in yeah, in, yeah, okay. in in just living in being content mm, in this mm, is enough. Mm, 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 and mm. and contentment is good, but I was not even it was not even contentment. I was at that point I was just I was settling. Sure. I was settling for far beneath what God had for me. Sure. And so I'd I'd grow a lot of unrest inside me because I I'd, I'd always feel like there's more to me. Yeah. But I'm not willing to I'm not willing to do it. I'm fine here. Yeah, like, yeah. As long as I get nominated. Yes. As long as I'm in the top 20. Yeah. As, I don't want to win. I don't want to be at the top. Yeah, I yeah, want yeah, people yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, no. Yeah. As long as I'm just. Sure. And it was like, it was that trauma playing out throughout my life. Sure. Yeah. Sure. But, but man, this will come as a question to you. If you didn't win. Mm. Uh, okay. Let me say. if No. If you did win the mm -hmm. idols. Let's say that. Do you think will you be where you are now? Oh, not winning pushed you to work hard to where you are now. Um, you know, I think God uses all things. Okay. So, well, I I don't even think about it because I don't think. Yes. You know, I don't. It wasn't yes. in the cards for me. It was yes. not in it's my just path. Just the plan. It, just, yeah, it was not from, in God's yeah. path yeah. that He yeah. had for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I never think of it like that. Yes. I never think of like I never think I was robbed. I don't feel like I was robbed. Yeah. Okay. Right. right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. yes like I don't yes. feel like I deserved it and I didn't get it. Mm -hmm. No, I yeah. feel like I believed for mm -hmm. it and mm -hmm. it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Wow. You know what I mean? That's a good so, answer. Yeah. I've I've sort of detached my Sure. It's really not aimed at anyone. That's like for me, I understand how things work. Work, yeah. And I understand how voting works. And yes. Yes. You understand? Yes. Like even now, I'm nominated for three Metro Awards. Yeah. But I know how voting works. Yeah. So I'm excited and I'm glad. Yeah. And I'm, I'm great. If yes. We, if we win, ah, thank God. Is that space? It but is I now. also understand yeah. that votes are votes. Now votes. It's people and it can, <laughs> you can find, wow. you can yeah. find voting. Yes. yes. It's, so it's not something that you, you can't base your life off yeah. of that. Yeah. 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 You, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And, and also again, we call to different audiences. Mm. So mm. maybe my audience is 10,000 people, but sure. those are 10,000 people that God has believed for me. Mm -hmm. And your audience is a hundred thousand. Yeah. But the value is mm. not different. Sure. The value of those people to me wow. might be the same as the value right. of your people to yes. you. Yes. Yes. So if we go into a voting situation, then of course you're gonna win. Yes. yes. I come from a town where there's like three thousand five hundred people. Sure. The whole town. Yo. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yes, looking back, I realized it was maybe my biggest thing was I I I but again. I, I'm glad that I was like that. I had so much faith that I didn't really look at mm. the physical things, Think. the physical evidence, which is what yes. faith is, is yes. to not look at evidence yes. and to go by what God tells you. So yeah, sure. no, wow. I don't think I don't think anything would be different. You know, I think still God would find a way to get me here. To get yes, yes. he would use a different route. <laughs> <laughs> he would reroute yeah. like Google Maps. He'd find <laughs> and he'd get me here. Yes, yeah. And 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 your 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 town people where you come from, they should be happy, man. I mean, hey, they, they are. I don't know. I don't. The, I don't I go they, they back should. a lot. Yeah, you don't go back. Okay. Yeah. And also, you know, I find I find that. There's a, there's just a different, I'm, I'm in a different world. Right. Uh, and not in a bad way. Like, I just feel like, sometimes I feel like where I'm from, yeah. they don't really listen to what I do. Okay. Okay. So really, it's more of a cultural thing. Okay. Okay. You okay. know what I mean? I get you. It's like, if you went to America and they like that shout music. <laughs> right. Right. And that's what they like. That, you yeah. can't be angry. 
Why not, are you not playing my song? My song, right? But it's not culturally viable for that, you know. So, so yes, I think they're proud of me because I'm from there. Yes. But I don't think every day they like they like uh, talking day. about me yeah. now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I, yeah. I find I get a lot a, a lot of love from uh, social media because yes. that's really where my platform lives. Yes, my music lives on the digital space. Mm-hmm. So. I'm getting a lot of uh, love from yeah. there. Yeah. And that is Hranskop. Yes, Hranskop. Hranskop mm. in Pumalanga. Yes, yes. Yeah, I've, I've been there, man. It's a beautiful town. Ah, it's the best. It's the best town. Those yeah. mountains and... It's so calm. Hey, like, bro. you just want to sleep. When you're there, you just yeah. want to sleep. Yes, yes, yes. Because <laughs> it's so calming and it's mo- it's always raining and it's like misty. I love that weather. Yeah, so those mountains. When driving there, <laughs> I remember saying to Khoza and my wife and Khoza's wife and saying, guys, are we not lost? Because yeah, from Pumbo, like because this. we went through uh, Nelspreit. Yeah, And yes, going yes. down there, it's like, hey guys, where are we going? Yeah, no, it looks <laughs> like you just go. It was like that movie, Wrong Turn. I was like, hey guys, <laughs> where are we going? <laughs> yeah, no, no, sometimes I just drive there just for that, you know, like I enjoy just the drive. To, when I drive home, it's yeah. a four and a half hour drive. Yes. And I don't play music. If I'm on my own, I don't play music. I just drive. And it, it reminds me. I remember when I was driving those roads yeah. uh, as a struggling artist Eish. coming back, going. So Eish. it's like, for me, it's 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 a sign of God's goodness. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You're, and you write songs for other artists as well. I've, I've checked it out. I do. Yeah. I do. I But I like to write with artists. With. Okay. So, so okay. yeah. So I, I'd help. I mean, I haven't for... For gospel, I've been getting a lot since I've yeah. dropped this project. Yeah. I've been getting a lot of gospel guys saying, Hey, man, you know, yeah. I've got this I've idea. Got <laughs> can you? And it's, it's tough, you know, because <laughs> I don't even think like my my gift is not even being able to, like, I can't summon it. Sure. I can't just now decide I'm going to write a song. Right. Like, it just hits me, you know, like it comes in different parts. That's why I like that album took me two years to make. Yes, yes. Just to refine those five songs because it's unfolding. Sure. As I'm living, God is giving me something. And now yeah. I have a melody and mm. now I have a verse. Mm. Now I know mm. what this verse means. And then something happens in my life. Mm. And now I understand why God give, gave yes. me this song. Yes. You know? Yes. So. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, honestly, a yeah. lot of things happened in my life last year. Like a lot of things sure. that I didn't publicize just really tough things so and i just had the song uh god you keep on blessing me mm. and it was just it was just it wasn't even I, I didn't even have that part yet the part i had was the yeah yeah yes yeah yeah and i didn't understand why would why would I? Because I'm not even Zulu. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. <laughs> you yeah. Know? But I had this progression that I started working on, and then I had a chorus. <laughs> but I never that, verse. Oh God, that song is beautiful, bro. <laughs> Yo, that song is beautiful, my friend. <laughs> no, that's it's beautiful because it's real. You know, it's and real. It's real. Yes, I and, love that. And if you listen to it, it's two parts. The first part is gratitude, and the second part is lord i need you it's understanding that i won't be able to do it i won't be able to sustain myself <laughs> and 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 it's really that was my life is i was grateful because on the surface huh. yes i'm i'm so blessed and doing so much but internally huh. i need you yes i need you because it's not easy mm. and every time something happens that disrupts the peace sure I need strength to be able to, for it to be my second nature. Yes. To come yes. to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. so that's why, like, the second verse says, only you can change my life. Sure. And only you can make me right again. Yes. Even though I don't know how to do the right things all mm. the time, but your grace is sufficient. Yo, yo, yo. So, yeah, so it's, it's, so it's tough for me. Writing songs is tough. Like, I, I don't... It's tough. I even get like if you were to call me into studio, I'd be so nervous. <laughs> be like, yo, what am I gonna contribute? You know? That's yeah. why I built a studio at my house. Yeah. So that people can just send me their ideas and I can and just, live just with record. Them yes. And take yes. my time. But yes. yeah, you know, yeah. I've enjoyed it. I've 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 been able to co-write songs with 
some artists in the industry. Yes. And it's, it's, it's always nice because you always learn someone else's perspective. Yes, yes, yes. And their style. And it became part of Muso worship, isn't it? Who, the, me? The, did no, you do a yo. song with them? No. I why, wish. Why? I feel. <laughs> maybe I'm prophesying. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love what they're doing. It's great. I'm actually, I'm a big fan of the movement. Yeah. Uh, and the church. Uh, they're doing a thing now. Yes. So they just bought a, well, they're buying a building. Yes. So no, no, it's. <laughs> maybe. But I'm, maybe. Not, I'm not part of. Lord, the, I'm releasing the, something. <laughs> No, at this moment I'm independent. Kinali, <laughs> kinali trauma. Yeah, <laughs> kinali industry trauma. Yeah. So I, I like to work on my own. Sure. In fact, this album I produced ninety percent of it. Yeah. By myself, and then I just sure. got certain parts. Uh, my my brother Urban, who's a guitarist, mm -hmm. so he helped me with a lot of the acoustic guitars. Okay. Because right. I like that sound, but yes. I'm not a good acoustic guitar player. Yeah. So if I can't program it on the keyboard, then I call him. I'm like, I sure. <laughs> I mean, this thing, music has been your thing. You started uh, learning piano from 12. Yes. And you're not only a pianist, a drama and a bass guitarist as well. Yeah. But I mean, I wouldn't call myself a drama, and a, yeah. but I, I'm, I'm, I'm you, sufficient. Okay. Okay. I'm I sufficient get it. I in get those it. things. I, I can play drums. I can keep a service running. Yes. 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 Okay. If, if I the love drama that. had, if the drama had an emergency, <laughs> uh, then you can call me. I'll, I'll come. I'll substitute. <laughs> yes. Yes. But yeah, you know, it's it's important, I think, to understand. Again, and you know what's funny is, I'm. I feel like I'm limited as yeah. an instrumentalist. Okay. But I I don't want to expand my limitations because okay. I find that it allows my music to be very simple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And and so, and that's now what I've been just trying to do sure. more and more is simplifying it even more. Because mm. even when I make music is I create, it's like a mess. I create, sure. I put all the things I want sure. and then I remove, Yo. I remove everything one by Yo. one until it feels like there's space. Yes. You know? Yes. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's my TED talk. When it comes to music production, <laughs> It's, I believe space is the most important thing. Yes. It's the most yes. important. For me, it's the most distracting thing when I listen to music and there's no space. Wow. Sure. Because then I can tell that people had great ideas, but they didn't execute with, they didn't have time to execute. Because space, you can only really find through time. Mm. So, so mm. yeah. So that's for me, it's like my job is how do I create space in yeah. a song? Yes. Because that space sure. is where the audience lives. Yes. The audience lives in the space that's within the song because yeah. that's where they're contemplating what you're saying. Yes. Yes. If you're sending out a message, right, they need to receive it. Yeah. So you have to kind of work with that in mind. How is the spacing in my music? And so, yeah, that's kind of like my <laughs> technique. <laughs> and started, started sound engineering. I did. Yeah. I, I dropped out after seven months. It I just wasn't benefiting me. Okay. I was too good at it. Hey. <laughs> Honestly. I love that. Come no, on. like I was getting 100% for everything. I understood it. Sure. And and so once I understood the basic stuff, which was important, yeah. I'm glad I learned uh, like how to use softwares and DAWs and all that stuff. Sure. So I started, I was doing Pro Tools and whatnot. So that was helpful. Yes. But once I knew how to do it, all the rules for me felt like they were boxing me. Okay, okay, okay. You know? Because okay. even now, like even to this day, like I mixed my own album. Sure. And the way I mixed it is very particular to me. Yeah. You know? Because you, you understand your own I understand sound. my sound. Mm -hmm. And I used to send stuff out for other people to mix and they would screw it up. <laughs> and then I would be mad at them. But it's like, no, don't be mad at them. Just figure it out. So, yeah. So it was the same thing at, at sound engineering school. I felt like once I got the fundamentals down, in that first six months. And also, I, I was now on Idols and I felt like, I... Mm. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. like, But it was very important to do it yeah. uh, and to learn. But once I figured that out, with art, I think you really need to expand your... Just expand what it could become. That's right. That's because right. once you limit it, you stop yourself from sort of pushing. Yes. And for me, part of being a musician, the appeal to being a, an artist is being able to push the boundary sure. and creating new things. Yes, yes. Like one of my favorite things I've done in my life was when I did my album Malamala, which is a gospel house album. Okay. But How do you spell that? 
Mala Mala. Mala Mala. Yeah, it's yeah. M H M H A L A M H A L A. Yeah, Mala Mala. Yeah, so yeah. it's like uh, the feeler. Oh, so Malamala okay. is the stronger version. Yes. Oh, yes. okay, okay. Tinsimu ta Malamala. Me and my producer what... this morning we were trying to get that that word together. It's Mahala, Mahala, yeah, Mahala, <laughs> Mahala. What? Yeah, that's, so, okay. It's Malamala. <laughs> Malamala. So, okay. Yeah, in Tonga the H is silent. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh. so, so, yeah, so when I did that album, I, I felt like, because our album was also nominated for a Summer Award, which was yeah. great. That's the first time I really, really liked, enjoyed being nominated because I felt mm. like I took a risk with this. Okay. Because the idea of, of house and gospel being one thing is not, it's not new. It's not like a new thing. People have done it. In fact, the roots of house music is gospel. They would sure. remix old gospel songs and then put them in for the disco and the dance yeah, floors yeah, yeah. and all but for me, I wanted to bring a spiritual element to it. And that's where my love for uh, Defila came. Sure. Oh, right. Because that album, all of the songs are hymns. Sure. And I sat with the hymn books to this day. I have hymn books at my house. Yeah, and that's really. And I read them. <laughs> I read them the way I read the Bible. Yeah. I read them because there's so much, there's so much in those hymns. And because, because we grew up learning them through church, mm. we only know maybe two paragraphs mm. and it's like that's not the whole hymn. that is no yeah even i i went through the song you know hallelujah Kateko. yeah hallelujah Kateko gets really deep sure like there's really there's there's verses in fact maybe i'll put it in my next album there's verses yeah, you should. i've done hallelujah Kateko in two of my albums so far so i can't do it again but <laughs> there's verses in it that are mind-blowing sure but we don't sing them we because don't, we don't know we them. We don't know them. We know the ones that we know. So, so yeah. So when I made that album, uh, Mala Mala, I really was just trying to bring that spiritual element. Okay. Like, what were they, what were they feeling? Yeah. And I want the music to feel like that. But I want it to be for the world. Sure. I want you to be able to play it on daytime radio mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. morning drive. Yeah. I want you to play Mukutsuri on morning yes, drive. You know, you know, I wanted them to play it on afternoon drive. I want them to play it prime time. I want to be able to go do a show, um, Joburg Day or K Day or mm -hmm. Delicious Fest. And I want to be able to do this song for those people. Yes. So that was the intention behind um that album. That, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo. And as they say, behind every successful man, there's a powerful woman. Mm. Yo. Man, it's an understatement. We wouldn't close this episode before we talk about that dynamic woman. She's incredible. Yay, bro. And you know what's crazy? Yeah. She's always been like that. Sure. She's always been in a room. Sure. Every room. She's always been the most dedicated. Wow. The most authentic. Sure. The most loving. Sure. And it's just like it gives me chills to yes. think about because I know what it takes. I know the sacrifice, you know. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. To see her become. Sure. Yes. It's like I, I actually, right. I feel like, and I, maybe this, I hope this doesn't get taken out of context, but yeah. I feel like how the disciples must have felt. Okay. Okay. Witnessing someone become, mm. Mm. walk into their purpose. Sure. It's an experience, and I've had that. I'm, I've been blessed to have that experience with a lot of the people that I surround myself mm -hmm, with. Mm -hmm. um, but it's it's truly amazing to see uh, to see her go from mm. you know she also dropped out. I remember when she dropped out, we were still dating. Sure, and she was she didn't know, but she knew. She didn't know what exactly God was doing, but she okay. knew God was doing something. Something, okay. Okay. And and I've just seen her continue to be that person, mm. fearless, um, just yeah, life changing. And mm. and so for a long time, actually, when my when my when I was in my deepest depression mm. after mm. the whole idols thing, amen. Part of what really helped was 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 our life sure. together, like sure. getting married to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It showed me that there was more to life okay. than just career, right? There was, you could actually find joy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like life is not just about happiness. Sure. Sure. And 
Yeah, no, I can talk. I can talk hey, the whole day about 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 her and and her her presence in my life. Sure. You know, like she she really helps me. She helps me uh, do the things I want to do, even though sometimes she doesn't believe <laughs> in the things I'm doing. Yes, but her honesty, sure, and her support, regardless, is is yeah, it's, sure. it's life changing. And by, by the by the help and the grace of God, we we'll, we will really love her to come. You know. And be part of this part again because I believe that uh, there's so much that she's carrying, yeah. And to talk to other, to other ladies and women out there because uh, recently there's a big event that yes, you guys yes, just yes. did. Unlimited and, 24. Yes, Unlimited yeah. 24. So I it mean, was uh, we yeah. do the Unlimited Fest, Wisdom sure. and Wellness Unlimited Fest. Yeah, uh, it was great. This, sure. this year was about healing. Okay. Um, sure. Yeah, it was about healing, mm. which which is which is lovely because. Everyone came with that spirit. Yes. Everyone came with whatever they're healing yeah. from. And to do an in- entire event dedicated to that, hey, bro. to have over 2,000 people uh, just come was was a beautiful thing. Like, I, I felt rejuvenated. Sure. Like, I honestly felt like, you know, I understand my my healing journey. So, yeah. No, I think she'll definitely come. I have she, to convince her. She's very yeah. busy. Yes. Yeah, I know. But I sometimes know. she's busy doing nothing, which is also very important. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's important to yeah. prioritize yes. being bored. So I, you're so, my brother. I'm leaving you with that assignment. <laughs> Bumi must come. I must here. be there. Yeah, yeah which, it's a heavy bring assignment. Bumi. But, <laughs> yeah, we'll by God's grace. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been amazing. Hey, it is that time again. But no, man, thank you so much. You know, for coming. You spoke your heart. Hey, and I spoke I, too much. See no, no, no. Like, why which is come? good. Why did I come here? <laughs> we want this information. You know, you must speak. That is why I was allowing you to speak because you are helping somebody. I hope so. When we are I hope. Listening. I hope. And for for me, my heart is really with young people. True. Yeah. And especially young creators. Yes. Yes. And to show them that there is another way. Yeah. And you don't have to be discouraged. Sure. God can use in a different way. And like I, I said, you. if God could use me on TikTok, mm. God can use you wherever you wherever are. Wherever you are. Yeah. yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, from the man himself, the anointed, gifted, <laughs> talented Brendan. Praise Lidwaba. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, sir. Thank you, family. Up until next time, from me, Omega Kuno, I love you. Keep watching. <laughs>